Hello, and thank you so much for tuning in to the Prophetic Marriage Ministry. My name is Shannon, if this is your first time, and I want to welcome you to my channel. So I have a prophetic word from the Lord today, and that word is, it's not dead. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. And so this word is inspired because many of you are in a moment in your marriage or in your kingdom spouse journey where the Lord has promised you marriage and it doesn't look like what God said it would be. And you're discouraged. You're feeling like, Lord, I have been praying, believing. I've been doing everything to the best of my abilities that I could do, you know, with some mistakes along the way. But overall, you have been obedient to God and you just feel like you're at a point right now where like you're at a crossroads and you're feeling like maybe I should give up. Maybe I heard God wrong. Maybe this is something that I need to just throw away. Maybe this is something that I need to just like forget about it because it's frustrating. It's irritating. And I don't know how I can come back from this. Maybe you just went into separation with your spouse, or maybe you're not in a um, physical separation, but you may be in an emotional separation, or maybe you might go into separation soon. It hasn't happened yet, but you feel it. And I just came to encourage you and to let you know that it's not dead. It's not the end. And if you are about to go into separation or if you're about to hit some complicated part of your journey, the Lord sent me ahead of whatever's going to happen to let you know that it's not the end. Just because you separated or just because the separation is about to happen or just because there's like this separation emotionally, it's not dead in Jesus' mighty name. It's not done. It's not through in the mighty name of Jesus. This is not the end of you and your husband. This is not the end of you and your spouse. So number one, I'm looking at my points here. The Lord let me know that oftentimes in separations is protection. Yes, the enemy could orchestrate a separation Yes, that's very true, but God is using it for his glory. Or sometimes God orchestrates the separations because it's protection, because he knows that you need to separate from this person before things get ugly, before things get worse, or just to give you a peace of mind, a peace of understanding, or whatever darkness that your husband or your wife or your you know promised husband or wife may be in, the Lord may not want you to like have to experience the warfare that they're going through. OK, it's your protection. And I know it's frustrating and it's irritating because you don't want to be separated from your husband or your wife. But you got to understand that it's for a reason. If God has allowed it, it's for a reason and he's using it for his glory. And so this leads me to my first scripture, which is first Corinthians chapter 15, verses 33. And it says, do not be misled. Bad company corrupts good character. OK, you are the believing husband or you are the believing wife. Yes, God, whether you're married or you're not married yet, you are the believing one. You are the one that's already sanctified. God is using you to help to sanctify your husband or wife or your husband or wife to be. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. And if they're in a season of darkness, of turmoil, if they have people in their lives that carry spirits or maybe your spouse has a spirit, the Lord may not want you to involve yourself with them as of yet because of what they're dealing with. And or the Lord needs to have a season with them and a season can be shorter than, you know, previous other seasons. You already, you know, just gauge whatever season you're in. OK, the length of your season is totally up to God, but your spouse may be in a season or maybe a moment where God wants to draw them away so that he can really take his time with your spouse and disciple them and grow them. But bad company corrupts good character. It don't matter if this is your husband, your wife, your children, your boss, your friends, or whatever the case is. Even if it's people that God has placed in your life, the Lord may have to draw them away for a season 
if they're not yielding any fruit, if they're going through something that could affect you negatively, God is like, I had to draw, I'm, I'm drawing you away from them. I took them away because I don't want my son or my daughter to have to experience whatever it is that um, they're going through. If they're in darkness and it's too much for you to bear for the moment or season or headspace that they're in, then God will allow them to be drawn away. And it's for your good and it's for their good, but it's still not dead. It's not dead. It's not dead in the name of Jesus. Okay. But it's frustrating because in the separation, the devil will try to lie to you. He'll tell you that they're not coming back. He'll tell you that it's not working out. The devil will try to tell you that your spouse is moving on. The devil will tell you that your spouse is not thinking about you. They're not considering you. They're cheating on you. And, and maybe there, some of the spouses have stepped into some infidelity. But if the Lord has promised you marriage restoration, then you are to still stand and pray and believe for what God has said. Okay, hallelujah, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Despite what it may look like, despite what other people may be trying to tell you to do, you obey God, not man. You listen to God and not your flesh, despite what it looks like. And you may not be able to tell a soul what you're going through, what you're experiencing, other than God. Or I'm also here for coaching and counseling and not just coaching and counseling. Some people just want to talk to me because they don't have anyone to talk to. So if you want to do that, I do coaching, counseling, you know, whatever the case is, you can book a session. I'll leave my booking site in the description and in the comment section below. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. But I just say all that to say, sometimes you may not even be able to share this with anybody. And this may be your first time seeing me and you may have felt like um, because I can't share it with anybody, that must mean it's not from God. Nope. Don't cast your pearls upon swine, for one, and that's Bible too. And also, some people who are believers and are Christians or people that love you, family, friends, church members, or whatever the case is, sometimes they give you advice that is incorrect, but it could be coming from a loving place. And so because of that, the Lord is like, no one is going to be able to understand what I'm doing in your life until I like, show the full and complete evidence of it. Now, if the Holy Spirit has led someone into your life where he said, OK, you can talk to this person or if the Holy Spirit leads you to even talk to me, you know, then fine. But I know for the majority of us who are on this journey, people were either like naysayers from the from the beginning or they don't understand what God is doing or they don't like that. the You know that you're in this stance with your husband or wife or your husband or wife to be. And God is like, hey, like sometimes some things like people, you you just got to let people watch and see what I'm going to do in your life, you know, and kind of go into a season of covering. It's, it's just that the Lord cares about you so much. He loves you so much that he wants you to be covered. He wants your spouse to be covered in this season. And you can't share too much or like let people in too much on what God is doing while it's still in the process. But the devil is going to still try to talk to you, going to say, oh, you, you're alone. You don't have nobody. You don't got nobody to talk to. Your spouse don't even love you. Look at you. You need to just move on. You need to just talk to other people. And this leads me into my next scripture that says, First Peter chapter 5, verses 8, it says, be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Okay, so the devil is waiting on you to slip up. The devil is finding that perfect moment and even going to use your spouse. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The devil is even going to try to use your spouse to make you have low self-esteem, to try to hit you where it hurts, to try to tell you things that are opposite of what God has said because they're oppressed by an unclean spirit. They are needing deliverance or they are needing salvation. Some of them are already saved, but still needing deliverance and still being oppressed. And because of this, the enemy is able to operate through them. But we are wrestling not against flesh and blood. This is not a flesh and blood battle. This is a spirit. And I know it's hurtful. I know it's discouraging when your husband or your wife or your husband or wife to be when they say things to you that are hurtful or when they try to hit you where it hurts, when they try to say all these things to tear you down. It's 
it it makes you like not want to love them, not want to pray for them, not want to be there for them. But it's the devil speaking through them. It's not them. And God shared with me today that many of the spouses, if not all of them, they can't control this demonic spirit that's on the inside of them. They cannot. Now, you need to discern and and, and know if this is a Holy Spirit led thing. Because some people are standing for people and God did not say this was your husband or your wife. And you're wondering why, like, oh, why is it not, you know, why isn't anything happening? But on the flip side, just because you don't see anything happening in the natural, it doesn't mean that it's not from God. Because I know people who have stood for months and months and months and saw nothing, saw no fruit. But then all of a sudden their marriage was restored or all of a sudden they came back into communication and now they're moving forward. Now they're like, it, it looks much better than it did. And it looked dead for like months on end. So you just really have to discern whether or not you're in, like you're in, like you're waiting for the right person. I don't know why I couldn't get that out. You really have to discern whether or not you're waiting for the right person. But I truly believe that the majority of you are on the right track. You're hearing from God correctly. So don't go freaking out. Don't go thinking like, oh my God, I'm not hearing God right. Oh my God, what's going on? You know, and if you don't know, you can book a session with me and we can figure that out too. And again, I'll leave my booking site in the description and in the comment section below. And also I take after pay. So if you need to break it up into four payments, then send me an email at propheticmarriage at gmail.com. But my next point is that um, I know all of you guys or the majority of you, if not all of you, you're feeling like this is a lot. This is too much, God. Like, why am I dealing with this? Why do I have to go through this? This is crazy. Like all of these ups and downs. I feel like I'm on a roller coaster ride. I feel like the roller coaster ride is never ending. Like it feels like it's dead. It feels like it's like, how can I come back from this? Like, I don't know, Lord, what you're going to do with this. Like, this is so much. How come I have to go through this? And everything that happens that goes wrong, like sometimes you panic or freak out or you're thinking like, oh my gosh, like, what am I going to do? Like, did this ruin the whole marriage? Did this ruin the whole marriage promise? You know, but God said he's using it all. He is using everything for his glory every up and down the good bad and the ugly god is using it all for his glory to glorify himself through you through your marriage through your husband through your wife he's using it all nothing is going to be wasted and that leads me to my next passage of scripture it's romans chapter 8 verses 28 and this has been like a, an extreme scripture for this whole thing which um it, it really ministers to my soul every time something appears to go backwards or look dead or look crazy or be like, like just, I don't know what's going on. God is like, all things are working together for you. I'm using it all. So Romans 8, 28, it says, and we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Yes, God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Be encouraged. It's not dead. It's not dead. It's not dead. And if you haven't watched my live stream from earlier today, what's today? June the, what is it? Let me see y'all. It's June the 12th. I did a live stream on June the 12th. I believe it says shifting the atmosphere. Um, watch that video to kind of like to encourage your spirit. Well, not kind of. It is going to encourage your spirit. Okay. It's going to encourage you in, in the faith. It's going to build you up. It's going to strengthen you because I know a lot of people have been feeling like doubtful, feeling weak, feeling frail. And we're standing in agreement together as a body of Christ saying that I'm going to still fight and stand for my marriage and believe for my marriage restoration and, you know, believe for the husbands and the wives to be redeemed, to be saved, to be renewed and transformed in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, God. But if you feel led to sow into this word, I will leave the information to sow in the description of this video and in the comment section below. And if you feel led to sow, put into the comment section of your seed um, let me see what I was talking about, y'all. Put it in the comment section of your CC. My brain just be going all over the place. Um, it's not dead. Duh, Shannon. It's so simple. Put into the comment section of your seed. It's not dead. 
in Jesus name. But even if you don't feel led to sow, put into the comment section of your seed, it's not dead in the mighty name of Jesus in the comment section of the video. Just make sure you put a prophetic declaration in the atmosphere to let me know, let yourself know, let the world know, let YouTube know, and let the devil know that it's not dead. And you are going to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. And you're not going to believe the lies of the devil. It's not dead. It's, it's, it's coming alive. Your spouse is taking off their grave clothes. They're going through a process where the grave clothes are coming off in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, God. Your spouse is, is taking off, is, is being stripped of those filthy clothes, those garments that they have worn for years. Your spouse is, is putting on the new self. Hallelujah. If you're still watching, at this part of the video, this is happening for you because I know many people don't make it to the end of this video. They watch until, you know, whatever the case is, they drop off in the middle. But if you're still watching, this word is likely for you. If you've made it to this point, your spouse is taking off the grave clothes. Your spouse is, is being created. Uh, 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 I mean, a clean heart is being created on the inside of your spouse. And you are about to see that transformation. And it's going to happen any day now, sooner than later in the mighty name of Jesus. That's your confirmation. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. And if you are able to see this part of the video, put a heart in the comment section. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Put a put a red heart for the blood of Jesus and the love of Christ. Put a red heart if you made it to this part of the video. But yes, you guys like this video. If it has resonated with you, share it with a friend. If you feel like it will help them subscribe if you feel led. But I want to thank you so much for tuning in to the Prophetic Marriage Ministry. And I will see you again in my next video. Oh, and I forgot to say... Thank you so much to everybody who has sown thus far. I pray that the Lord increases your seed a thousandfold in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you. I love you. And I bind and rebuke every single monitoring demonic spirit. I command you to go right now. I blind you and I deafen you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I rebuke the lies, the lies of the devil. Satan, I rebuke you off of this person. I rebuke you off of their marriage and their marriage promise in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the angels of heaven be dispatched from heaven in the mighty name of Jesus to help us to step into our destinies and our purpose in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you so much, you guys. I wanted to make sure I cover every basis before I end the video, but I love you so much and I'll be talking to you soon. Bye-bye.